Well, of course. Sure will. And it will show you some of its snow magic. And we'll have the most amazing holiday! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right! Blizzard has better things to do than entertain us. Hey! What are you doing? Oh! <laughs> Very well. Let us just see who will be laughing tomorrow when we win the Christmas Cup. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, right, winners. <laughs> As if they could win. We will roll you guys into the ice. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Children, you should be ashamed. Don't fight. All right, Martins, let's go home. We need a nice sleep before tomorrow's victory. Tig, Spike is right. We also need to rest. What about Blizzard? Come on, you guys. We'll be okay. Christmas winners. I now declare the Christmas tournament open. <laughs> <laughs> Let the cup go to the most worthy. Show them how it's done. The beavers don't stand a chance. We're playing to five points. team that makes the final is Leo and Tiggs. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> not bad. Not bad at all, Spotty. But you won't get so lucky when playing us. <laughs> First, you gotta win the game against the Lemmings. Right. See you in the finals. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Take this. Uh, miss me! Uh, miss me again! Oh. Listen, why don't we go make our own snowman? That's right. That's right. When that blizzard will notice right away. Yeah, and then he'll show us snow magic. Ho-ho! <laughs> 
Hounds do play rather well. Yeah, if you're a runner-up. Oh, what's going on? Calm down. Let's run and see what's going on there. We still got time. What did you do that for, kid? Well, we wanted to make a snowman for Blizzard so that we could see snow magic. If the snowball falls down, we won't see Blizzard. Or have a holiday. Yeah. Or have holiday magic either. We could go up and carefully dismantle it. Leo! The Martins beat the Lemmings. Come on, if we don't show up, they'll count it as our defeat. But what about Blizzard? And what about the snow magic? Is holiday canceled? <sighs> All right, Leo. Let's, you know, save the holiday. Hooray! 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 Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! It's amazingly huge. Tig, I have a plan. Was the strike of a true champion. Well done, Leo. Uh, hooray! hooray! Thank you, children. You've saved the holiday. You know, I never thought I would say it, but I gotta say, you've played really awesome. Great job. Congratulations to you, Leo and Tig. <laughs> Why is he being so nice? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, let's have our celebration. with the feathered ones. Sure, 
party. Go see what all the buzz is about. You stop your chittering right away. We can't get no sleep. Shoot, shoot. Pipe down, you hear me? Who's flopping their trap this early in the morning? We did it. Quiet. Stop yapping. Hey, you. Seems to me like it's you who's yapping here. And the birds are singing. No one can sing this nice in the whole forest. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Shoo, feather freaks, get moving. Your presence here with disapproving. Messing with my sleep, boo. Well, I say shoo. Sing now, birdie, sing the song. Sing about the thing along. Forest dwellers need to hear just how lovely you can sing. Shoo, feathered one, shoo. This is our forest, not yours. You disturb our sleep, so once again, shoo! Birdies, don't you be afraid. Just get comfy in your nest. We've been waiting for so long just to listen to your song. This is our forest, ours only. Better ones need to go! Songs of joy, spring is here. We love singing, can't you sing? Sing and whistle to a dance. You'll bring spring into our land. Forest flowers <laughs> need to hear just how lovely you can sing. This is our forest, not yours! You disturb our sleep, so shoot now! This forest is not all yours, so stop being so bossy! Leave our feathered neighbors alone! Well, how about this, huh? And this! What are you doing? Stop it right now! <laughs> I'm the boss around here, you all got that? Is that right? Well, you're not the boss of me! Yeah? <laughs> we run this forest. You all got that? I don't think so. Uh -oh. Come on, you all got nothing on us. <laughs> Take this, you striped wool sack. What? I'm going to show you. <laughs> Wait, I have no time for you right now. Leo, check your six. Watch out. Ooh. Ah, oh, stop it. Cut it out right now. The birds are leaving. Can we have a time out? <laughs> What's this? You give up? Now you know who's the boss around here. Not you. You just wait and see. Everyone, get back to the base. It's time to drop our battle plan. Yara, you wait over here. Mila, you run over here and draw them into a trap. Ah! 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 Those? No! No, they can't be! My, my mom told me... Where did they come from? That they, they sucked the blood out of everyone! Oh no! How terrible! What do we do? Let's run to Mappa. He must know. going to have to stay in here forever? Why forever? In winter, the squeaky mosquitoes go to sleep. Mappa Pandiga, what sort of squeakers are these anyway? And what are these mosquitoes? Oh boy. 
My great-grandfather told this story to my grandfather. One day, the spirit of the tiger's own brother, Amber, was visiting him. But Amber was so evil that the animals of the tiger didn't want anything to do with him. It made Amber very angry. So he made up his mind to punish the animals. He summoned swarms of mosquitoes, squeaky mosquitoes, for animals had nowhere to hide. They went to complain to the kind spirit of the tiger. The spirit of the tiger asked Tiger to deal with the mosquitoes. <laughs> tiger couldn't do a thing. The squeaky mosquitoes were too small and too fast. Then the spirit of the tiger sent Leopard to fight them. Whoa. And then Wolf. But they returned empty-handed. Then a little birdie flew to him and said, Can I try? The spirit of the tiger agreed. You can, my friend. The birdie unleashed a mellifluous song, summoning the birds. Answering the boisterous call, the birds filled the sky, their wings flapped with vigor, and their beaks snapped with thunderous might. Not a day passed when the mosquitoes disappeared. The squeaking mosquitoes were gone. I know what we need to do. We gotta get all those birds back to the forest. I just don't know how we're gonna do it. We hurt them really bad. So that explains why there's so many mosquitoes in the tiger. <gasps> okay, what did you guys do to the birds? Well, we first tried to defend them from the martins. We really stuck it to them and made things much worse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, come, the spirit of the tiger, come to us. us, spirit of the tiger, and help us. Help us lest the tiger dry up and become a desert. Go on, go on. Oh, the great spirit of the tiger, please help us to bring back the birds to our forest. We'll always treat them well and never harm them. And we will protect them with our lives. And I beg you, the great spirit of the tiger, please. I miss hearing them sing so much. We will cherish each one of them. We'll never take them for granted. sense now. The mosquitoes are scared of the birds. Build your nests. Go on, build them. The best spots are right here, next to our home, our hollow. Here, here, and over here. Sing now, birdies, sing the song. Sing out loud, let's sing along. Forest dwellers need to hear just how lovely you can sing. Birdies, don't you be afraid. Just get comfy in your nest. We've been waiting for so long. Just to Over there! 
hiding behind a bush. <laughs> the tiger, kids, is like nature's own pantry. And what is the richest, most filling time to be in the forest? What time? Lunch time? No. <laughs> the most generous time is the autumn season. Autumn in Tiger. I hate autumn. Leo, move over. Snake! There's a snake! Snake? Snake! Ah! There's a snake! snake! Where? Over there under the tree! Right! So huge and angry! It almost bit off my tail. Tig, are you sure you saw it? Of course I'm sure. I almost lost my tail. <laughs> you chickens. You got scared of an empty snakeskin. Come over here. Do not be afraid. Mappa, so the snake is now crawling around completely naked? Like a plain earthworm? But why? No, kids, no. The snake sheds its old skin and crawls out of it, wearing a new one. Huh, that's a neat trick. I wish I could do that. Whenever your coat gets dirty, all you gotta do is take it off and carry on. <laughs> Mappa Pandiga, how did the snake learn to shed its old skin? Mmm, that's a very interesting story. <clears throat> Have a seat and listen. Once upon a time, there lived a great snake, the king of all snakes. But he grew very old and couldn't see well or even crawl anymore. So the great snake ordered his subjects to find a cure for old age. The snakes shot off in all directions. They searched every deep crevice and every underground cave, but found nothing. The last one to come back was the whip snake, carrying a secret root. The great snake ate the root and crawled out of his old skin. Once again, he was young, strong, and healthy. The great snake was very happy. After that, he made it so that a shiny trail is left wherever the whip snake crawled. Mappa Pandiga, what was the name of that magical root? Oh, that root was Jinsen. Ha <laughs> ha! The sun! Finally! <laughs> Mappa Pandiga, let's go to... Uh, to eat some grapes! Oh! I'm a little under the weather. Oh, and my back hurts. Mappa Pandiga, what's wrong with you? <gasps> Poor Mappa Pandiga. It looks like he came down with something. We have to help him. Totally. But how? I know how. We are going to find that magical root. Remember? It can cure everything. Right, Leo. Let's go find that... Uh, Singji. Uh, but where do we find it? Oh, is this it? No, Teague. This is a Manchurian walnut. Haven't you listened to anything Mappa told us? We have been looking for this root for an hour. Maybe the thing doesn't exist. I think I found it. <laughs> Follow me. Oh, wow. It's like in a fairy tale. These marks are left by the whip snake. We could track him down. Right! And then ask him to help find the magical root! To cure our Mappa! Uh, uh, guys! I think I'm scared! Oh, wow. This 
This must be the Whip Snake's lair. I don't think that Whip Snake is home right now. So let's just get out of here. No, we came here to get ginseng for our mappa, and we need to find it. Leo, what if there's no ginseng here either? Don't say that. Of course there is, and we'll find it. Well then, I'm just gonna wait for you guys here. I don't like swamps. I mean, I'm allergic. Huh. Who's a leech here? Which one of you is the most delicious? No, no, we don't taste good at all. Yeah, I'm bitter and sour. Silly kids. Why would you march into the swamp? We're really uh, sorry. We just needed the magical root. It's for a good cause, to help someone. <coughs> Our Mappa Pandiga, he got really sick. Can cure any disease. You know Mappa Pandiga? Right, I remember him as he was still a bear cub. Well, hop on. I'll give you a ride. Now, wait. Take it, and say hello from me to Mappa. We sure will, Mr. Whipsnake. Thank you, Mr. Wise Whipsnake, sir. Goodbye, Mr. Snake. See you later. See you. have to climb this mountain when we could be at home right now playing games. And look, look at the sky. I think it's gonna rain. I really hate autumn. Okay, we've arrived. 
Look at how majestic oh, our so tiger wonderful. is in autumn. Woohoo! The view is beautiful! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> you know what I always say, right? Autumn is my favorite time of the year. <laughs> tiger can not only give you food, but also medicine. Forest mystery. <laughs> I did it! I did it! Hooray! I did it! Oh, Tig. Don't give me that Tig stuff. It's them. They're playing it wrong. No writing aloud. Hello? Are you playing? Can I join in? I'm on Team Mila. No way! It's two against three now. It won't be fair at all. It's okay, Tig. Let her play. And we'll get Martik on board. That's him in the grass. Night has fallen, but there's a noise. Now, old cedar, raise your voice. Martik, come join us. No, no can do. I've got pine cones to collect here. Why do you need so many, Martik? Well, it's for an important task. <sighs> Follow me, I'll show you. That's where a cedar pine grew. It burnt down. The spruce was here. Also burnt down. Yeah, the red deer spared no one. And this is my home tree. Oh, it was. Night has fallen, but there's a noise. Now, old cedar, raise your voice. Quiet branches, don't be loud. Martic here is sleeping sound. Squirrel, now you sleep tight. Close your pretty little eyes. Bye bye, baby bird, he sings. Someone's flying on a wing. A mighty forest bright. Who won't scare? lullaby that our tree sang to me. This tree? Sang it? <laughs> That's true. I heard it in the rustle of the leaves. Martique, what do you need the pine cones for? What do you mean? For the seeds. I'll collect a big pile of them. Then I'll plant them, and our forest will grow big again. Then you should have said so. And you really shouldn't be making up singing trees. Cuba, go on then. Get digging. We're planting a forest. Tig, wait. Do you know how long it will take them to grow? A century. There must be some faster way to do it. No, children. I don't know of a faster way. 
but I do know one legend. That was a long time ago. The tiger was visited by an enormous red deer and set the whole forest ablaze. The fire was so strong that even the spirit of the tiger himself got scared. The spirit hid in the last cone on the very top of the tallest cedar tree. The cedar started reaching for the sky to save the spirit of the tiger. The red deer couldn't reach the cone and he retreated. The cedar opened the cone, its seeds were scattered, and wherever they hit the ground, a forest started to grow really fast. Because that cone had the magic power of the spirit of the tiger. Since then, the cedar has been here. They call it the Great Cedar, because it saved the tiger. That's the story, kids. Wow, Mappa Pandigo, I thought it was called Great because it was really big. But as it turns out, it saved all of the taiga. Hmm. We must find a way to get to the highest cone. What if it's a magic one? Let's just plant regular seeds here. Tig is scared. <laughs> well, I'm not scared. Tig, come on. We'll climb it somehow. That's what we have claws for. Huh? It might get windy. Uh, what we should do is get the cone by throwing a stone. Hey, guys, up there, look. <laughs> Not far now. <laughs> it's magic. Hooray! 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 <laughs> <laughs> What do we do next, Leo? We'll scatter the seeds around from the top of the very tallest tree, like in the legend. That way, the seeds will be spread far and wide. The tallest tree here is my home tree. <laughs> ah! It's a monster! <gasps> Run! Ooh. Ooh. Look out! Mortique, why didn't you warn us about such a, such a... Uh, because it wasn't uh, there. It must have appeared because of the fire. Did you see how black it was? I did. That's because he must be an ash monster. And he's here because he doesn't want us to plant the magic cone's magic seeds. What do we do? Make it leave. Take that and that and no. there. Against such a big, strong monster, we don't stand a chance. But I've got a plan. Listen. Hey, monster! Look what I've got. It's a magic pine cone. If you want it, come and get it! What? It's not magic. <laughs> and the magic cone goes to Martique. Martique, go on. <sighs> it's too high. Martique, be careful. <gasps> Flying on a wing, mighty forest bright. Who won't scare at night? Magic dreamland here awaits. Don't be scared. It's the tree spirit. It's calling you with grace. Can you hear that? Listen, that's. We'll show you 
the pretty woods. It is full of magic goods. It's all true. It's a singing tree. It's so beautiful. Hooray! Wow, beautiful. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> we did it, home tree. <laughs> Yup, a miracle! <laughs> For all miracles are done by the power of love. And if you have a magical pine cone, that also helps. <laughs> 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 Little Blizzy. But I saw it first! Mama Pantiga put me in charge of collecting cones! Back. No! Let go! Martens! Whoa. Target detected! The spotted one and the striped one! Get your best cones ready! And shoot! <laughs> Thank you, Spike! Now we have enough food supplies for the whole winter! Let's go to Mappa! Oh, he'll be so happy! <laughs> what now? <laughs> he says enough food supplies for the whole winter! <laughs> Whatever! Spike, just to be clear, when are we gonna start stocking up on food? We are not! Martins never stock up on food! Martins use their brains instead! <laughs> Ah, <laughs> good job. Well done. It's great to see how many cedar nuts you brought us. In the taiga, food stock is the most crucial thing. Without it, you can't survive winter. When the blizzard comes, you will all be grateful to me. Where will it come from? Yeah. Where does the blizzard come from? Where is her home? Mappa Pandiga, tell us, please, where does the blizzard live? There's not much to tell, really. The blizzard lives in her icy castle on the top of the highest mountain, where snow doesn't melt all year long. And when the winter comes, she goes down into the taiga. And then... Be careful not to make her angry. If the blizzard gets angry, bad things are coming. She will freeze everyone and turn everyone into ice. No one will be spared, neither animals, nor birds, nor trees. They say once the entire taiga almost died because of its icy breath. It's getting chilly. What if that's the blizzard getting angry? The... the blizzard? Angry? That's just a fairy tale, right, Mappa Pendiga? Maybe it's a fairy tale, or maybe it's not. Leo, where are we going? We have to find the blizzard and find out what made her so angry. Look, there is no blizzard. You heard, Mappa. It's just a fairy tale. <gasps> Did you hear that? That's her. The blizzard. Hide now! Quickly, quickly, hide the food stock before the blizzard manages to find it. Go ahead, hide them. <laughs> They're gonna be ours anyway. We just need to come up with a plan. Come on, Spike, think. Mappa Pandiga, 
Mappa Pandiga! We know why the Blizzard is upset and angry! It's because she lost her only daughter, Blizzy. We need to find her. Then the Blizzard will stop being angry, and the Taiga won't freeze! Ah, good idea. Okay, so the Blizzard lost her only daughter. <laughs> Very interesting. I think I've come up with a plan. They're gonna give us all their stock themselves. Follow me! Someone wants to find you so badly, they will give up everything, even their food stock for the winter. I want my mommy. Spike, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> You're supposed to watch the Blizzy. Don't let her out of your sight. <laughs> what is she doing? I don't know. Probably just wants to play a bit. Look here. No, stop. Huh? Here? give you the blizzy, and in exchange, you give us all the food you've stocked for the winter, and everyone's happy. So, how do you like my plan? How do you like my plan? Have a taste of this. Wait now, Tig. We need to get Blizzy back whatever it takes, or else the taiga might come to an end. What about her stock? We'll have to find more then. Spike? We take the deal. That's good. This is my kind of conversation. I've always been saying, you just need to use your brain. Spike, the blizzy <laughs> fell into a cave. What? Say what? A little more, and the whole tiger will be frozen. We need to get Blizzy back right now. Here. This is where she fell through. We'll have to follow her down there. Down there? Into the icy labyrinth? No! The icy labyrinth? Leo, ah. we're not going in there, right? I will go. Oh, no way, Leo. Uh, okay, I'll go too. I'm just gonna get some cones first, because there are, you know, all kinds of bats and also spiders. <laughs> Boy, do I hate all these labyrinths. Lizzie! We should go right. Let's go right if you say so. Blizzy! Another dead end. There's no way we'll be able to find her. And even if we do, we won't make it out of here. Get up, Tig. We have to move. Uh, where on earth did those two go? <sighs> See, Shorty? It's all because of you. Why is it always me? She started it. <laughs> And who is that? Oh, Leo, look here. It's a cedar nut. So it means we've already been here before. A cedar nut? Wow! Tig, you're a genius! Me? Well, I mean, thank you. Okay, give me the cone. It will help us not to get lost. All right. So we can use the little nuts to mark our trail. I come up with the best ideas. <laughs> Tig, this way! We found her! <laughs> mommy! Where's my mommy? Hey, don't cry! You want your mom? Let's go! We know the right way!
My baby girl, you're back. Thank you. Hey, look! The frost is thawing! The blizzard isn't angry anymore! Yeah, we did a good job. Hmm. <laughs> there. Now we are definitely ready for winter. Look at that! Use your brain! <laughs> <laughs>